the fat person in me wants this so bad. The fat person in me wants me to love this and enjoy this and for me to just rent a hotel room, put on some good movies, burn some candles and take my time with this. But the logical, healthier, sensible, better palate having human in me is saying, why in the hell would y'all do this? Why would I want to lick cold, sweet macaroni and cheese? Why? I can't even imagine myself coming home from a long day of doing stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing, going into my kitchen, taking my shirt off, my belly hanging over my 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 gym shorts slightly and politely opening the refrigerator door, then saying nothing in there to eat. Let me open the freezer. Oh, it's macaroni and cheese ice cream. You know what? Let me get a spoon and I'm going to taste the mac and the cheese as I lick my tongue around this macaroni and cheese ice cream out of a chocolate waffle cone. You know, we are living in the last days. I know the Bible said a lot of things were going to happen, but the Bible forgot to mention that people were going to turn licorice into ice cream. They were going to turn macaroni and cheese into ice cream. The black person in me is excited. And the black person in me is also wondering who the hell made the macaroni and cheese because you just can't eat macaroni and cheese from everybody's house. Now I got to find out what company made the macaroni and cheese ice cream because, you know, Ben and Jerry, I ain't never seen them before. I don't know if they can really put down in the kitchen like that. I don't know if I trust them. But then, you know, you got Nestle. Nestle over there, they got some jungle fever in their ice cream flavors anyway. So if this was Nestle, this might be fire. What I'm trying to say is I am on the fence about this. The Afro-American in me wants me to support this but the logical more melanated more educated person in me saying why in the hell would y'all even attempt to do this blasphemous thing right now there's a person in new york city it's a grown man in new york city with a button-up shirt some big jeans with a new york yankee fitted hat with some timberlands on in the middle of the summer and they talking about son that macaroni and cheese look mad delicious b right now there's a redneck in texas with his shirt off his flannel shirt tied around his ways with some cowboy boots drinking a white claw saying well i'll be damn it they put macaroni and cheese and ice cream there's a mexican man right now in east l.a said holmes i don't want to i don't want to eat the macaroni and cheese it sounds disgusting way what i am trying to say is i'm on the fence do I know this is going to be terrible? Yes. Is this a terrible idea? Absolutely. Should this have been made? Gosh, no. This is the this come from the mind of a first grader. But the fat person in me wants to experience this. I am bone thugs in harmony stuck at a crossroad. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But um this this looks disgusting. This looks absolutely horrible. And whoever came up with this idea, I hope you don't get fired, but I do. I want to make sure that you were demoted, okay? And if you were allowed to keep your job, I want to talk to your manager. I want to make sure they get fired. You get demoted, but they need to be fired, okay? But I want to experience this, I think.